In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about fishing out of a kayak. Now, it's one of those things that I get asked all the time over on the Alex Red Fishing channel, boat or kayak? And honestly, it's a really hard question to answer because it's kinda of like oranges and apples. Yeah, they mo both are fruit, but they're two totally different kinds of fruit. And I often compare it to checkers and chess. Yeah, they're played on the same board, but it's two totally different games. And that's really how I view whether I fish in a boat or a kayak. It's two totally different experiences for me, but I enjoy both of them equally. There's not one that I think that I would choose over the other one just for the simple fact of not only the memories I've made, the fish I've caught, but the people that I've been able to meet doing both types of fishing. Now, in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a kayak and why a kayak is so beneficial to a new angler or somebody that's thinking about getting a kayak and kind of give you guys what to me are the two things that make the kayak superior in some ways to the boat and makes it so that I own both a boat and a kayak so that I can go fish out on both. So looking at my kayaks, both of them sitting here in the garage, I would show you, but obviously I don't want to twist the camera around. I have a Hobie PA-14. I got a little Sholey Crescent over here. One is a big pedal drive kayak. It's got all the knickknacks, paddy wax, everything. And then my Sholey is like my stripped down, simple little creek boat. Now, both of those kayaks combined don't even cost probably an eighth of what this boat cost. And so the first thing that makes a kayak so beneficial is low barrier to entry. And what I mean by that is not only the cost of getting into a new kayak, but then the cost of operating a kayak as well is way lower than this boat that I am sitting in. And it doesn't matter if you buy a John boat or a brand new 21 foot bass boat. The thing about it is once you buy that boat, you've got to register it. You got to keep it registered and keep your registration up to date. You've got to maintenance the engine, not only by changing the oil, the water filter, the intake filters, I mean, all the stuff like that, but then you also have to fill it with gas as well. And even if you're super conservative on putting hours on the motor and you know not burning a ton of gas, those are still things that have to be done and they all cost money. Where both of these kayaks, there's zero maintenance involved in either one of them. Once I buy the kayak, I am done. As long as I don't like poke a hole in it or do something stupid to break it, these kayaks will, I mean, pretty much last forever. That Crescent Sholey, I keep looking over there at it because I have absolutely abused the crap out of that boat and I've still not been able to break it yet. And the thing is, is there's, I mean, it's a $1,500 kayak. And what's really cool about that $1,500 kayak is not only is it low barrier to entry to get into, low barrier of entry to operate, but it's a kayak that you can take right now and go fish as competitively as you want to on the highest level tournaments that you want to. I mean, my buddy, Mr. Drew Gregory, who runs a kayak adventure series, but also fishes Bass Nation kayak series and Hobies, he has won multiple events, won Angler of the Year, won the Bassmaster Classic Kayak event out of a paddle kayak, just like my Sholey. He actually designed that boat and those that is the boat that he won those tournaments out of. And so for $1,500, a catch board and a PFD and a paddle, you can go and compete at the highest level that you want to in those kayak tournaments. And again, super low barrier to entry. The other thing that makes it super beneficial for me is the ability to get places that I can't in my bass boat and catch fish I otherwise wouldn't catch. I cannot express to you guys enough, and we're actually gonna make another video about this later on, how many big fish live in the small creeks and small rivers and small streams all across this country, all the way up north to Michigan, all the way down to south to Florida, all the way out west to California. There are giant fish that live in little creeks. And you know, I have proven this without a shadow of a doubt. Drew has proven this without a shadow of a doubt. All these people who go out creek fishing, like Mr. John Dalton Creek Fishing Adventures, has proven this without a shadow of a doubt. And But just to confirm it even more, I almost broke the state record spotted bass. I was only off by a half pound out of my Crescent Sholey in a creek no wider than this building, and this building's only 35 feet across. And so big fish live in places that i can't take this bass boat there's places i can't even get a john boat i mean just having to you know haul my kayak down the side of a hill or a big embankment or lower it off a bridge i mean i've done all kinds of crazy stuff to get to places 
it just weighs too much but that little 70 pound kayak i can get in there and i can get to places i can get to fish that no one else can and have opportunities to catch a lot of fish really big fish and just totally untouched fish and so for me that's why i absolutely love that thing because i love my bass boat i mean when the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour and it's cold and freezing outside i love to fire up that 250 and be able to just scoot across the lake but there's opportunities that i can't like go and almost break the state record spot of bass i can't do that out of that bass boat i have to be able to take that kayak that shoaly and go and do it just because i would absolutely wreck this bass boat trying to do that. I would hit rocks, I would tear up the motor, I would tear up the prop. Then obviously that barrier to entry, that barrier of cost for running goes up because I got to repair all those things, but I can go and do them in that kayak right there. And so that's my opinion on a kayak. That's why I think you should buy a kayak. I really, really like them. I think they're really, really cool. And if you want to see me almost break the state record spotted bass out of a paddle kayak, click this video, it's popping up right here.